This little active woodpecker is widely distributed through Canada and the United States. A familiar sight at backyard feeders, the downy is the smallest North American woodpecker. And the cutest, I might add. Let's get to know this charming bird a bit better. Enjoy! Belonging to the Pisidae family, downy woodpeckers are estimated by Partners in Flight to have a global breeding population of 14 million, with 79% living in the U.S. and 21% in Canada. This adorable little woodpecker has prominent stripes on the head and a conspicuous wide white stripe going down the center of its back. These soft feathers are where the name downy was derived. The sex of a bird can be determined by the noticeable scarlet patch on the back of the head, which only males have. Black and white lines decorate the face and neck of both sexes. Measuring roughly 5.5 to 6.5 inches and weighing close to 1 ounce, this black and white bird with a kind of checkered pattern in the wings can be found in most of the United States and Canada, except for the arid deserts of the southwest and the tundra of the north. In most of their range, these are resident birds, except for the more northern birds who may travel a short distance a little south of their breeding area in winter, and ones in mountain locations who move to lower elevations. With their straight chisel-like bill, downy woodpeckers hammer into the bark of a tree in search of grub to eat. As with other birds of its kind, their black and white tail feathers are used to lean against for support, as they rest against a trunk eating. This also assists them as they hitch up a tree. There are several woodpeckers they look like, but nothing nearly as close as they do their larger twin, the hairy woodpecker. In fact, for beginner birders, these two are usually one of the first identification challenges they master. Besides the obvious size difference, there are a few other defining features that can help you know who is who. First, the bill. Downy woodpeckers is smaller looking for the bird's size, only about half the length of their head. Second, note the white outer tail feathers. Downy woodpeckers have black spots, hairies don't. And last, downies lack the black comma-like mark on the shoulder that hairies have. Although they are very similar in appearance, the two birds are not closely related. There are regional differences in downy woodpeckers. Downy woodpeckers in the west tend to be darker overall, with less white in the wings. On the eastern half, these small birds are quite familiar, even more so than other woodpeckers, frequenting backyards or town parks. The downy is also readily seen in other created habitats, such as our orchards. When they aren't hanging around neighborhoods, they can be spotted in open woodlands, especially deciduous ones, also along streams. Interestingly, clearing and thinning of forests seem to have a positive effect on these woodpeckers, since they do well in forests that haven't matured. It's quite fun to watch these little woodpeckers and their acrobatic ways as they forage food. Most of their diet consists of insects like beetle larvae that live inside wood and tree bark. Some others include ants and caterpillars. One great thing about these birds is that they eat pest insects including corn earworms, tent caterpillars, bark beetles, and apple borers. Probing crevices for these prey, they catch insects in the barbs of their tongue and glue-like substance that is created from their salivary glands. As they hammer into trees, the feathers over their nostrils keep out pieces of wood. Plant sources such as berries, grains, and acorns are sometimes consumed too, especially over winter, making up about a quarter of their diet. One of the wonderful things about these little darlings is that they are more than happy to take advantage of feeders with suet delighting people as they watch them enjoying some lunch. Downies also like black oil sunflower seeds, millet, peanuts, and chunky peanut butter. Sometimes they'll even take a sip from an oriole or hummingbird feeder. As with other woodpeckers, to attract a mate or advertise territory, they drum loudly against wood or metal. It's often mistaken that this is part of their feeding habit, but it isn't. Feeding woodpeckers, especially the downy, doesn't make much noise as it searches for food.
Roughly 15 hits per second occur as they drum, with little rest in between, only a few seconds before the next. If you listen carefully, this can be used to determine which woodpecker you are hearing. For example, their larger lookalike the hairy drums faster, with at least 25 taps per second. And for them, the rest in between is longer, nearly half of a minute before drumming again. Some other sounds the Danny make are the whinnying call, which is made by both sexes, especially during the breeding season. And the pick note call, that is sometimes repeated several times. The Danny woodpecker is monogamous, mating with one partner and raising a brood together. They may even stay together for several years. Other Danny woodpeckers are not tolerated and are chased out of the territory. When having a dispute with another bird, they fan their tails, raise their head feathers, and move their beaks from side to side. In summer, the male and female nest in dead trees or rotting parts of live trees. They like deciduous ones infected with some fungus that softens the wood making excavating easier. Usually a small stub is chosen, somewhere around 7 inches in diameter, that leans away from the vertical with the entrance hole on the underside. Cavity holes are round and 1 to 1 and a half inches across. An advantage of being so small for this woodpecker is that they can drill cavities in dead trees or limbs that measure as little as 10 centimeters around, allowing them to live in a wider range of habitat than the larger woodpeckers can. Typically, they have only one brood a year, and incubation is shared by the male and female, taking turns during the day and shifts lasting from 15 to 30 minutes. Males incubate the longest, spending the night. The nestling period is 18 to 21 days, and as they near fledging, the young can be pretty noisy, almost constantly bagging. The mother and father work tirelessly to bring them food. The young are on their own by around three or four weeks after fledging. It is possible to entice Danny woodpeckers to use a nest box to raise a young in. One with wood chips inside is attractive to them. One of the great things about these birds when it comes to birding, especially during the winter season or even fall, is that they are often seen in mixed species flocks that include chickadees, nuthatches, and titmice. Hanging out with other birds is smart because it allows them to find good food sources more easily and helps protect them from predators. The more eyes on lookout, the better. A tactic of theirs when confronted with a hawk is to use the trunk or branch of a tree as a shield by dodging swiftly behind it. A pretty neat thing is that they can live for many years when you consider their small size, as one male who had been banded in 1985 was recaptured in 1996 and re-released, 11 years and 11 months old. Since he was re-released, he probably lived for longer. I just love to think of him surviving for several more years after. With fall hair and winter close at hand, keep your eye out for this little charming character, our smallest adorable woodpecker. To me, downy woodpeckers are exciting. I always love seeing one and stop what I'm doing to watch and take photographs. I want to share one cute story I have from several years ago. While out birding, I spotted a downy woodpecker pair. My tripod was set up and the male had flown over and perched on the leg. Because it had no grip, he just slid down the bottom. He didn't even try fighting it, just went the whole way down. That made me laugh and I don't think I'll ever forget it. Sweet little bird. In spring, I plan on setting up a few nest boxes throughout the forest I frequent. I know where one pair lives and am hoping to attract them. Fingers crossed. Of all the things I went over, what did you enjoy learning about the most? And did I forget anything? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Take care. Happy fall birding.